Hey guys, it's Joel from HelloGround.co.uk. I am back today to talk to you about men's skinny jeans. I feel like skinny jeans are some of the hardest, or jeans in general, are the hardest thing to purchase. I've spent hours of my life trying on loads of different types of jeans. There's so many different fits. There's like boot cut, straight, skinny, flared. I don't know if you'll buy flares though. There's so many different options. There's so many leg lengths, so many waist lengths, and everywhere's different. Like you can never guarantee that a 32 inch in one store is gonna be the same fit in another store. So that's where online shopping kind of fails in the jean department. But I'm gonna show you my top three favorite skinny jeans that I found for me. But obviously, it's different for every person. Every person is a different shape and size. Hopefully me showing you what I found and what I like um, will help you understand a bit more about what you want and what you're looking for in a pair of skinny jeans. Now all my skinny jeans are black obviously. I've kind of got a selection of the best three skinny jeans from different brands with kind of a higher price point, mid range price point and a lower price point. Um, I've taken into account you know, their aesthetic, how they look and the fit themselves and I think these three are a good selection of um, what you can find out there right now for men's skinny jeans. Um, so let's start and show you what they're like. So let's start at the bottom of the price point and the first brand that I want to show you um, skinny jeans from are Forever 21 Men or 21 Men I think it's called. They're kind of a more charcoal than a black but there's not much difference in it to be honest. Um, I'll compare them to another pair in a, in a minute. Um, they have panels on their knees, kind of like biker style but just kind of clean panels. Um, they are skinny jeans but they are not necessarily tapered to the ankle. Um, I am a 32 inch, just before we get into putting these on and stuff, I'm a 32 inch waist and I am about 6 foot 1, about 183 centimetres tall last time I measured my height which was like a while ago. Um, so if that gives you a better understanding when I show you the fit of these on my actual body. Um, yeah, these are £22 which I think is a bargain for a pair of jeans. Um, a pair of jeans that are at the quality that these are as well. Roll them up a bit at the end um, to show off a bit of ankle. I feel like this gives the leg a more flattering shape as well. You have to be careful with skinny jeans because you don't kind of want to fill them out like sausages. You don't want to look like you have filled up balloons as legs. Um, but I definitely think that this kind of skinny jean is quite straight leg. But it's probably better for those guys that don't want an overly tight jean that looks like leggings, which I am quite accustomed to. Which brings me... Um, to my next pair. Well, I got these in a 32 32. That is what I usually get, and it was right. Um, the next store is Top Man, and these are their, from their Spray On Skinny collection. Now, the Spray On Skinny fabric is kind of a bit of a cross between like, kind of like jean and kind of like legging. You know, when jeggings came out and everyone went crazy. This is kind of the men's alternative to jegging, it's like spray on skinny. And my legs probably do look like filled up like sausages in these. I love a tight black skinny jean and I have done since I was like 13. I'm probably never gonna grow out of that. <laughs> um, you know, I still wear really tight black skinny jeans to this day. And I think the top man ones are great. They're 38 pounds um, with student discount, you know, they go down to what, 35? And they're just an, such an investment. I I had bought one pair of these at uni and it lasted me all three years and I've had another pair since and it's lasted me till now. So they're great. Um, definitely for 30 odd quid for your plain basic black skinny jean. They're, they are really tight fitting so if you are looking for a super skinny tight jean then I recommend Top Man. But again, if you are looking for that more relaxed, you know, more relaxed feel, then head to Forever 21. Um, my final pair of jeans, it's a brand that if you watch my channel and you read my blog, even my Instagram, you know that I really love this brand. They're called Represent Clothing. 
Um, this is some of their new denim collection that dropped on the 31st and they brought out a whole new denim collection and the quality has improved so much on their previous denim. Um, these are, they're their signature biker jean with a bit of distressing all over and they've got the biker panels on the knees and up the thighs. It's got kind of like metal press represent piece on the fly. I've got represent embossed on all the details. The attention to detail on these jeans is by far better than anything I've seen on the high street in recent years. But these do have a pretty hefty price point at, um, I think they retail around hundred pounds. So especially for an online store, um, you really want to be able to make sure that they fit you and they are the, the kind of jean that you want before making such an investment. Represent jeans are not necessarily as tight as the top men's spray on skinny, but they are tapered towards the ankle, so they do give that feel of quite a skinny jean. Um, I'd say they're a midpoint in between the Forever 21 um, skinny jean and the top man spray on skinny in terms of fit to the leg. Um, I think they're great. Um, you can see them and how they fit on the body. A pair of sneakers, a pair of boots, even a smart shoe that I wore with them the other day. Um, I think a pair of black skinny jeans, wh wh whichever you get, as long as they fit you right, then they can go with anything and they'll last you a very long time. So I definitely think even if they are, you know, that higher price point it is worth investing. But also the lower price points are completely perfect as well because I, I wear all three different price points and I enjoy styling up all of them. So it just does really depend on your budget, what you what kind of fit you want and which jean suits your body shape and if you feel comfortable obviously because if you don't feel comfortable then there's definitely no point in investing in a pair of jeans like that, you know. I think it's always important to try it on. I spent quite a lot of time in Topman going through their different styles of jeans, trying on those. You do kind of have to mentally prepare yourself for trying on jeans because you end up being in the changing room for a, a long time. And for me, taking off your trousers, taking off whatever, off and on again, off and on again, off and on again, it's kind of like a little workout and um, I definitely have to be in the right state of mind to actually power through and purchase a pair at the end. You want to fill up your wardrobe with key essential pieces that you can wear anytime, any event, anywhere there, dress them up, dress them down, you, you, and you really want to invest in the right thing. So definitely take your time when buying jeans, try them on if you can, or ask other people who have them. and get kind of a, a feel of what they're like before you end up investing in that brand. I hope this has kind of helped you and I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, this is actually a requested video so if you do have any requests just let me know and I can put together something for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter and I will see you next time. Bye guys!